India is raising the issue of extradition of 2611 accused the Havur Rana during the FBI director's visit to India. The FBI director uh, is on a three-day visit to India. Yesterday, he met with the CBI chief. Uh, it is uh, being told that uh, the FBI director ended up uh, discussing uh, the uh, uh, attempted alleged foiled attack on um, the Guru Patwan Singh Pannu who is a terrorist uh, belonging to a terrorist organization that is uh, designated by India, seeks for justice. Akshit on the telecast with me. Akshit, uh, uh, big news. Uh, there are two more days left for the FBI director to finish his tour of India. Uh, and we are getting to know as per sources that uh, the likelihood of India raising the matter of the extradition of the Havur Rana, who uh, was hired for the... 26-11 attacks in Mumbai is also going to be talked about. Well, yes, uh, FBI director is, is on a three-day visit to India, uh, Christopher Ray, uh, and he also, uh, you know, met the CBI uh, chief Praveen Sood. Uh, and also, this uh, this visit to India comes against the backdrop of an alleged plot to kill a pro-Khalistani leader uh, on uh, American soil. Of course, Gurpatwan Singh Pannu, uh, Khalistani uh, extremist. Uh, and the director uh, of the FBI is also expected to hold separate meetings with the heads of the uh, CBI, uh, NIA, Intelligence Bureau, uh, and and uh, even RAW. Uh, and uh, uh, Ray also visited uh, the CBI uh, headquarters uh, yesterday afternoon and also interacted with other senior uh, uh, officers uh, of the agency. Uh, and if I just tell you... Uh, that uh, what we are getting to know is that the meeting focused on strengthening the exchange of information on criminal matters for improved coordination in combating transitional uh, uh, crimes and sharing of expertise in investigation of technology-enabled uh, crimes. Uh, and, and we are also getting to uh, know that race meetings with Indian officials are expected to focus on topics under right. four broad pillars, uh, homeland security, training and capacity building, extradition of persons wanted by India and the activities of pro Khalistan operatives in the United States. Okay, stay on with me, Akshit. I also have with me Group Captain UK Devnath. Group Captain, you know, uh, earlier in the year, just as recently as May 2023, uh, the government of United States of America had uh, approved the extradition of uh, Tahavur Rana. Uh, and that's the big point that India is also going to raise. The National Security Advisor is likely to meet uh, uh, the FBI Director. Uh, how? How? conclusive are these discussions going to be? Again, the big question uh, that will arise is, when is the Havur Rana, the orchestrator of the 26-11-2008 Mumbai attacks is going to be brought back to India? Oh yes, it is a, a very important visit by Christopher Ray and uh, definitely he will be meeting all the top uh, honchos of Indian intelligence community including CBI, uh, and boss of RAW, uh, it remains to be seen that uh, what is the exact purpose of his visit. Uh, we should not forget that after a long gap, probably after 12 years, one FBI chief is uh, taking pains to visit India. And what could be his motive? Right. Uh, a very big reason could be that he wants to meet with Indian intelligence community and um, on the pretext of sharing of various um, important issues probably he wants to give a hint to indian intelligence uh, honchos that uh, usa knows what in india is doing in canada and usa uh, they have a very strong doubt that um, uh, niger uh, problem yeah, in canada yes 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 the, i mean the the key point uh, of the fbi director to arrive in india and have uh, have a discussion with the CBI chief, meet with the National Security Advisor, was of course about the alleged foiled attempt to kill, to neutralize Gurpatwan Singh Pannu. But at this point of time, India taking a very important stand. As per sources, there is going to be a talk that is going to be held with the FBI director talking about how long is it going to take for the American administration to extradite Tawarur, Tawur, Rana, quickly on the telecast, let, let me get in RVS money as well. RVS money, uh, you know, a big discussion point. We on Newsx had been harping about it, saying that the extradition of the 2611 plotters has to be done at the soonest possible. It took more than two decades for the American administration.
to extradite, to give the approval of extradition of the Havur Rana to India. You are right. The Havur Rana is interested, but the extradition process is very, very elaborate. First, there is executive consent. Then it goes to the relevant country judicial process. After that, he has a right of appeal and all. See, the procedure involved, even after the decision is taken, to procedurally involved to physically get Tahur Rana into India is again a very, very time-consuming, elaborate process. We know what is happening in our own national uh, Vijay Malaya case or uh, the Chokes, uh, right. Nirav Absolutely. Modi case. These are, all, these are all very procedural, very, very, very exacting and a very tiresome process. You cannot wish away that. Yes, Tahur Rana will come, but what and when is a matter of conjecture. It's only You can only do a guesstimate about this. I'm sure National Security Advisor will again flag this. We have to keep the pedal, uh, 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 our foot on the pedal continuously because one slack idea, the entire process may be derailed in the United States. So keep reminding the FBI, NSA will do it, the Director CBA will again do it, or the DGNIA will certainly do it. Okay. Having, <laughs> having yeah. said that, we, are, we, we hear the, the key word is patience. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.